And I think it really would be spoiled if it was paved and made into a sidewalk rather than just the dirt path that it is. That's William Merriman, a dean at Manhattan College, who calls the city's plan to pave over the Putnam Trail, a one-and-a-half-mile rustic pathway now covered with dirt that begins in Van Cortlandt Park and extends north through Westchester County, a bad idea. The trail takes you away from Broadway and from the highways, and it uh, gives you a feeling of relaxation. and. It's just very peaceful. Merriman is not alone in his reaction to the proposal to double the current width of the trail and cover it with asphalt. Martin Gonzalez says it would disrupt the natural beauty of the park. They just need to um, put gravel and keep it with gravel and it's going to do all right because when it rains, the gravel is going to soak in the um, water, so it's better. But to just pave it is not going to do a good job. They're going to waste money. That's exactly how Suzanne Korber sees it, a volunteer with Save the Trail, an organization that wants to see it stay as it is, says that according to the Parks Department's own poll, the majority of the people that come to Van Cortland come to enjoy its nature trails. Meanwhile, 25% come for horseback riding, with the rest for fishing, golfing, and bird watching. You can improve the trail, make it more accessible, uh, using more natural materials. Her solution? Uh, we've suggested stone dust because it fits in with the character of the park. And they are accessible, we know, uh, around the country to bicycles, strollers, uh, wheelchairs. And, you know, they're pedestrian friendly as well. During a recent hearing at Community Board 8, volunteers spoke out against the proposal. But Community Board 8 leaders say the plan is a winner because it addresses all the drainage concerns they had after heavy rainfall. The proposal would include continual monitoring. Wilfredo Ocasio says he's fine with both solutions. Like I said, I could take it either way, except when it rains, it gets a little bit nasty. But otherwise, it won't bother me either way. Meanwhile, this visitor says the city has the right idea. They pave it over. I think it should be better. <laughs> While the plan was approved with the subcommittee, the issue goes before the full board on May 22nd. That meeting is open to the public. For BronxNet, this is Arlene Makoko.